Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna teach you how to quickly key out the green in green screen footage inside Premiere Pro CC. Now, a few weeks ago, I made this green screen video, which was kind of a weird, funny video for Instagram. Now, as you can see, there's a lot you can do with green screen footage. In this case, I made myself really small and battled myself added some sound effects, a music track from Epidemic Sound, and overall I think it turned out pretty good for just a quick green screen idea that I had. Now I did create that whole video in After Effects because After Effects has more advanced options when it comes to doing visual effects, but you can do some green screen work in Premiere Pro, so I'll show you exactly how to do that right now. So I have Premiere Pro open with a 1080p sequence created, and I have my green screen footage loaded into the timeline. Now typically the first thing you do when you're working with green screen footage is you want to mask out anything you don't want. So in our case, we're going to go to the opacity. We're going to check off the little opacity option here. We're going to grab the pen tool and we're just going to make a quick mask around the subject. So now that we've removed all of the additional stuff in our scene that was outside of the green screen, we're ready to start keying. In Premiere Pro with the effects tab open, we can type in ultra key and then under video effects keying you'll find ultra key there are other effects that can remove the green screen however in premiere pro the ultra key is the best for this task so let's go ahead and drag that down onto our footage in the effect controls tab let's scroll down and then we'll find ultra key here under the key color we will select this icon here which allows us to select a color and then with the color picker we want to choose an area of the green that is consistent such as this area here now right away the majority of the green has been removed however there's some down at the bottom here a bit on the right so we'll go to output and we'll change it to alpha channel this will show the whites as anything left in our footage and the black areas will be anything that we've removed you'll see there is some white down here and on the right that we still need to remove so we'll go to matte generation and then using these settings we will fine adjust until we are happy with the green screen key Typically I start with the pedestal at the bottom here, so we'll increase this. We'll keep that around 30 for now. Then for transparency, we'll make sure that the subject stays completely white. For shadow, around 12, and then the tolerance, around 50 is okay. And then we'll need to go back and adjust the white levels again. So we'll go to the transparency and decrease it. Then we'll set our output back to the original setting and under matte cleanup, we'll adjust the soften. And depending on the footage, sometimes you might need to choke the edges slightly. So for me, let's just set this to 0.5. And then if your subject was filmed too close to the green screen, you might end up with some green spill on the subject. And in that case, you can go to spill suppression and by changing the spill to 100, you'll notice on the arm here that it went away. So let's go to zero and I'll cycle those and you can see the green changing. So we'll keep ours to around 75. And then they also have some color correction options, but for us, we'll just leave that. And then we'll get our background in here. And now with our background placed behind our green screen footage, you'll notice that on the legs, we still need to do a bit of work. So let's just position the person a little better and we'll scale them down. And then let's fine adjust the ultra key settings. After going back and adjusting the settings, I ended up with these settings here. Now keep in mind, these settings are only specific to my footage. The footage you're working with will have very different green screen lighting very different lighting on the subject, and you'll be using different cameras, different codecs. Overall, there's many different factors, and the settings you use will always be different, so you'll need to slightly change them depending on the footage you have. All right, so that's how you key out the green in green screen footage using the Ultra Key Effect inside Premiere Pro. Now, if you find the Ultra Key Effect not doing a good enough job inside Premiere Pro, then that's when I would suggest opening up After Effects and using their Key Light plugin. It has a lot more control and it will give you a far more professional result, but if you're looking for just a quick green screen key, Alter Key in Premiere Pro is the way to do it. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. We have over 60 other tutorials on our channel, so subscribe if you want to see more of those. Comment down below, hit the thumbs up if you like the video, and we'll see you next time.